culture defines people. Culture defines the way we work. Culture defines what makes us tick. And if somebody comes with a different culture, we are immediately in a defensive position. And this is my humble interpretation of many of the conflicts that we have been assisting to in this world, because what creates these massive conflicts is actually the question of whether or not we understand how our vis-a-vis, because if we understand the person that we're talking to, and if that person understands us, there's no issue. But if we're coming with a background that is very different, and they don't understand it, then we may have problems. And I think the biggest issue that we have as we look forward in our future is to create understanding between different cultures. And of course, different cultures means different languages, etc., etc. So we have to be very clear that language, culture, country, etc. That's a big continuum, and we need to make an effort to understand it. And it's very helpful for anybody that is trying to have a reasonable career to actually get exposed to different cultures and learn about different cultures. Because then we also learn a lot about what is possible. Because certain things are possible in my culture, but are not possible in the, in the culture of a different person. I was, I was married to a Portuguese, I'm an Austrian, so how, how does that work between an Austrian and a Portuguese? Then I may, might say an Austrian Protestant and a Portuguese Catholic. It's even worse. Different language. So we have really interesting issues here when we look at different cultures, different languages, and we need to balance, or we need to be able to balance and we need to be able to abdicate from the question that we own the truth.